right, I am live. Hi guys, Noe here, I'm at the studio. And I have a box full of goodies that um, I'm gonna unload that I picked up from the kiln today. So let's see what we got. So this was a person did a Dungeons and Dragons beer mug. That's pretty impressive. It looks really good. Okay, so there's that one. Let's see. Ooh, nice. Mason Jar says, drink up. Um, so the ombre worked really well. So that's nice. This one goes with it. Ooh, this turned out great. So this says, cheers. So these were actually painted together. So drink up and cheers. It's cute. So there's half of a wizard box. This is a cute little bowl. Nice, bright, and colorful. Here's a little gnomey guy. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, this turned out adorable. So there's a little berry strainer. But look at that on the inside. And then she painted all the colors again then on the outside. So, turned out really great. Okay, now this next piece is super impressive. So look at this pineapple. Okay, you see the pineapple, right? Look at the detail in that. Then she painted the sparkle paint on the inside. And look at this. Look how well everything fits together. It's beautiful. And the top, just so, so, so impressive here. Yeah. I don't think I would have the patience for this, but it's awesome. Nice. So we've got a moon. And we've got got a sun. Nice. Those colors really make it pop. got a cupcake. 
a little cupcake box. tentacle tumbler so same person that did the pineapple did the tentacle tumbler that looks awesome so so cool yes so cool and nice and purple on the inside I know right Okay, this is cute. So a little flower box, nice and colorful. And a little top. That's adorable. Okay, and we've got a spoon rest with some yellow dots on it. We've got a unicorn bank, nice and super colorful. I really like this blue on the head. And we've got another unicorn. So this one looks like it's got some cutie marks on it. Got a little bit of blush, super cute. does it for those. Now I do have some test tiles that I did. Okay, so I finally, I'd had this little guy drawn out for quite some time, and I just had never done anything to him. So, <laughs> I finally have this little guy finished. So, he'll become like a little magnet, I guess. Um, finally finished him. These were test tiles that I did um, with just some leftover paints and just kind of an abstract design here. And I wanted to kind of use leftover paint colors that I had, so there's that. And then this one, I was testing different um, brush techniques and also using colors that I had blended. So there's this one. So the brush techniques I was testing was with the flower petals and just really just kind of smushing the brush on to make the petals. Um, so yeah, it turned out pretty good. This is cute, I like this one. I'm pleased. Then, so one of the things that I'm working on is trying to develop, because as parents, we are, um, embarking on the school year. Some of some people already have for the East. Um, and so uh, with school being virtual, I was thinking about doing, putting together some like art kits, like art at home. And so I really wanted to try to make them also like be educational as well. So um, one, yes, it's a fun project, but two, like you're learning something about art. Um, because I don't know how much of these virtual programs are including art. Um, so I 
had the idea of doing like the first one be um, a piece and then you learn about color theory. And so maybe in your paint kit, you only get the primary colors plus white and black. So the primary colors being a yellow, a blue, and a red, because those are the three primary colors. Um, and then I made test, style, uh, test tiles with the different combinations. So like this is red and blue. Um, probably a little more blue than what I would have wanted, but it's a nice, rich, deep purple. Um, this is the same with some white added, so it's a little bit lighter. Not by much, but a little bit. This is with more red than blue. Um, oh, this is red and black to make like a maroon. This is blue and white to make a lighter shade of blue. This is blue and black to make almost like a navy. And then I've got blue and yellow, which almost makes like a teal. There is a lot more blue than yellow in that. This is a lot more yellow with some blue to make like a spring green. This is red and white to make a really vibrant, bright, deep pink. This is yellow and red. So it's very, it's much more, I did not add enough yellow to make it a real orange, but this one is more of a true orange. So this has much more yellow than red. And then this is yellow and white. Hey, Travis. And this is yellow and black. And it makes almost like a, I guess like a gray, kind of a green gray. So I did these test tiles because I wanted to show people kind of how um, color mixing works. And so um, providing uh, an art kit that only provides the primary colors and you mix your colors to create your own different colors outside of red, yellow, blue, black, and white. Um, so I wanted to have those test tiles so I could include pictures in with the kits, but that's something that I am working on. Um, but yeah, so these are all the, the treasures from the kiln for this week. Um, I just dropped off another big load um, when I picked this up. So, and in the next load, we have um, four of these guys that were actually in this week's fire. Excuse me. So the little gnomes are pretty popular. Um, the suns were really popular too. I am actually out of suns now. Um, so yeah, but hoping for another good day at the studio today. Um, I really like this little guy. He's cute. So yeah, I think that's about it guys. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing the creations that other people make. I always do. I'm always impressed with how other people's minds work in creating a piece and what to paint and how to paint it and everything. I haven't painted a sun yet um, because I'm still not quite sure exactly what I would want to paint. So um, that's why I haven't done it yet. But people have been giving me ideas in terms of how they've done theirs. So, um, yeah, but, uh, anyway, hope you guys have a fantastic Saturday. I got to get to wrapping these and getting these ready 
You love the sun. <laughs> Here's the sun. Um, so I'll probably reorder some more suns and then I will do a sun for us. But uh, anyway, hope you guys have a fantastic Saturday. Like I said, I got to work on getting these wrapped up and getting our customers notified. And I'll see you guys next time that um, I bring a load from the kiln. So happy Saturday, guys. Bye.